The expedition encountered disaster almost from the start. The uh, flagship of the uh, expedition, the Carluk, got caught in the ice two months after it left Nome and was carried off to the west and ultimately sank several months later. No one was lost at the time of the sinking. They all survived and got safely out on the ice. But one disaster after another happened to those people who were on the car look. Eleven people lost their life within the next year. My book is the first attempt to tell the whole story of the Canadian Arctic Expedition, making use of this new archival material that has become available in the last 20 years. My father was Diamond Genis, who is one of two ethnologists attached to the Canadian Arctic Expedition. Through my dad, I, I met quite a few of these people who were on the expedition many years ago. What I have tried to do and what I hope I have done is to uh, convey to the reader, that, or the scientists, the published results of the, what they accomplished and the collections that they made were, in my view, the uh, most significant result of the entire expedition. I have also made an effort to show how the interaction between the Inuit people and the scientists who were up there marked the beginning of sustained contact between the Inuit of the Central Arctic and the outside world. In spite of the uh, problems that were encountered, the results of the expedition were considerable. The Canadian Arctic Expedition achieved both of its major goals. The discovery of new terrain, new land, new islands, and the collections of Inuit artifacts, uh, biological specimens and mineral and rock specimens that were brought back and the mapping of the 600 miles of Arctic coast. This is my book, Stephenson, Dr. Anderson, and the Canadian Arctic Expedition of 1913 to 1918.